It's always the same. You know, really try to kind of help guys be the best version of themselves. And that was Jessica Hunt reporting. Now this season, the Rattlers are currently 15 and 8, 3 and 2 in district, putting Hearst at 403 career wins. They play MacArthur at Blossom tonight at 7 o'clock. And this story originally aired on Instant Replay. To get the best sports coverage in town, from the pros to our local sports, make sure to check out Instant Replay Sundays at 11 o'clock, right after the night beat. And make sure to follow Greg Simmons, Larry Ramirez, and the whole KSAT 12 sports team on social media. Looking outside with live cam, a few wispy clouds out there, but the sun is out. Enjoy. We're going to take a final look at weather when we come back. Never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather. Streaming free on KSAT TV. All right, one last look at the forecast. We are sitting at 59 degrees right now. We'll be in the 60s here soon. 62 the high temperature today. You'll notice the clouds filling in tonight. Rain showers starting to show up on radar. And they'll be plentiful tomorrow morning. 80% chance of showers on your Wednesday. Good chance. 58 degrees, the high temperature tomorrow. And then clearing out some Thursday and Friday. Another chance of showers over the weekend. All right, looking good for the next uh, few hours, I should say. Yeah, it's nice out there right now. And uh, it's a good time to go out and get some lunch. Comfortable. Yeah. Mm. All right, we didn't really get to talk about it that much. Spurs, yep. barely winning, taking on the Suns last night. Now they're just a half game out of the playoff spot. Taking on the Grizzlies, but here's the thing. Tomorrow, they're taking on the Pelicans. It is Zion Williamson's first game, first regular season game in the NBA. ESPN flexed it, so it's going to be a national game. Yep. You're going to be able to watch it everywhere. Yep. Also, very exciting. We now know who's going to play in the Super Bowl. Yeah. yeah. We've got the Niners and the Chiefs. What a game. What a game. Offense and versus defense. There we go. Who are you? Um, You're stealing my thunder. I was going to. We start Sorry. with Ursula. No, no, no. We start with Ursula. Why? I asked her in the break, and I was saying. Well, I, I have a know. lot of friends mm. who are Oklahoma fans who are from Texas, and mm. so they're all Kansas City Chiefs all the way. Okay, so what, does that make you Kansas City Chiefs? <laughs> well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to support my friends since okay. I'm still pretty upset about the Saints. That's fair. Not making it. I, I think that was kind of the shocker of the yeah, playoffs. And so I'm just going to go ahead and support my friends. and. Uh, we'll get you a Patrick Mahomes jersey. You got LSU. Okay. You got <laughs> I know, but, but you can't see. hang on, hang on, hang on. No. The Saints... Went to the Super Bowl once before, the mm -hmm. same year LSU had a great season. Mm. And so, and the Super Bowl was in the Superdome. It was just, karma was perfect. Man, you won it all. <laughs> and I just thought, let's do that again. Yeah. NOLA, Championship City, I guess. Yes. That year it was. Justin, who you got? Oof. It's complicated because <laughs> I like Kansas City. Actually, probably Kansas City. I like Patrick. Thank Mom, you. Even though he's a Red Raider. Uh, but... Yeah, he's a great player. There's some there's some Texas ties there yeah, that you can fun to hang watch. on to. You know, offense is always a little bit more fun to watch than defense. So, yeah. Well, they might get it together. Yeah, we'll see. All right. All right. Thank and you, Justin. You? Oh, Chiefs. Hang on. All the way. Okay, Chiefs all okay. the way. Chiefs mm. by a million. All right. Well, I actually, we're, I, we're so unexciting in the. I know. <laughs> someone had to say sorry. Niners. <laughs> it's okay. You know what? I, yeah. I know there's the old cliche of defense wins championships. But that offense is just so much fun. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. Patrick Mahomes just throwing 60-yard ball. All right, anyway, that is all of our show for now and all of us right now at KSAT.com. Uh, you can tune in to KSAT on the air right now. The impeachment hearings are underway. We're going to hang with them until they take a break. In the meantime, have a great afternoon.
Yo delicious, may these cookies be with you. We're finding the cutest way to say Yoda one for me on Valentine's Day. <laughs> I love that. Sweet animal friends. Yes, a local pet shop is here to share more on how they're getting back to help animals affected by the wild fires in Australia. Aren't they just and Western fashions from casual to chic for all ages and sizes. We're counting down to rodeo with these fun looks. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Oh, yes, got to start kicking up the heels there and doing a little bit of dancing. Happy Terrific Tuesday, everybody. We are going to be learning how to cut a rug a yeah. little bit later on. I'm Mike Osterhage. I'm Jen Tobias Chesky in for Fiona, and it's definitely a try at Tuesday. But can you believe the Cowboy Breakfast already? I mean, I know it's the unofficial right. start of the rodeo, but it's already this week. And then the cattle drive is a week from that, and Stop then it. rodeo starts <laughs> uh, on the 6th. I mean, yep. it's yep. here before we know it. So we're getting you ready today, right? And the question is, what are you looking forward to the most with everything going on that's rodeo? What about you? Um, I think the cattle drive. I mean, cattle start, we've been fun. doing that for a few years yes. now, and just seeing the Longhorns go down yes. Houston Street is fantastic. Only in we Texas. Got the, we've got that big, <laughs> case that's got that big party too. Oh, yes. yes. If you're an insider, look into that. I love taking the kids to the petting zoo, and yeah. I mean, their faces, and like you said, they're only that age so long. So. Right. And they could ride on the little ponies yes. going around in circles and all that. All That's why it's fun. Take the pictures. And well, tag us. Let us know. Of, uh, at SA Live KSAT on Facebook or Twitter. Maybe we'll share your answers. Well, of course, uh, you know, what? 30, 40,000 people always go out for the cowboy breakfast. Mm -hmm. But if you can't make it out that early in the morning, maybe you'll do a little cowboy brunch for your family. And uh, one of our favorite chefs here, yes, Leo, Leo Davila. Leo Davila, catch the wave. Uh, what do you got planned for us? Because it's a little combination, right? Yeah, a, nice a little brunch. combination of a couple of things. So we're doing a smoked brisket is kind of the theme throughout, right? Mm -hmm. When you said cowboy breakfast, when we think of tailgating, I think of brisket and smoking right. it. Mm. So this guy's been marinated for 48 hours. Okay. Then we did a low and slow smoke for 16 hours on it. We wrap it, so we kind of take it over to where that bark forms. Mm -hmm. We wrap it so then it eases back off. So when we go to eat it today, you'll see it just kind of falls apart in your mouth, but it still holds together in a strip. And I can vouch for it falling apart in your mouth because <laughs> when you wasn't looking, I had to sneak a little piece. So anyway, what are we starting off so, with So yeah, here? so the first one we're going to do is a smoked brisket uh, chilaquiles, but divorce style. So we're going to use our mole. So mm -hmm. we've made a mole negro. That's going to be our sauce. So what I already have going for you is some onions that we're just sweating. Let's throw in some bell peppers. All of it? We really like, yeah, we like the tricolor. That's I perfect right there. love all the colors. Right. Yeah, we love all the colors. We love all the veggies. So Mike is just going to get that working. That's going to take five to seven minutes per. So onions get going, then you let your bell peppers cook off. Um, once that's ready to roll, if you don't feel like making your own tortillas, so we actually made our own tortillas that we're going to do for the quesadilla today. Okay. But let's just say you're in a hurry and you don't have time. HEB sells some great blue and white corn tortilla chips. Let's go ahead and throw those in there and we're going to throw a touch more. Yeah, yeah. A couple of handfuls. A couple of handfuls of that. Okay. I always forget how easy this dish is to make because you always have tortilla chips, right? I mean, yeah, you typically yeah. yeah. always have tortilla chips. <laughs> and this would probably be good too if the tortilla chips are maybe not yeah, as crunchy as they exactly. were in the first bottom, right? So, you know, you're late night snacking, mm -hmm. leave the bag open a little mm -hmm. bit to get a little stale. This is kind of <laughs> how um, a lot of this came up. So, Mike, go ahead and throw a touch more oil. We're using canola today. You can use olive oil. Um, EVO, you can use avocado, coconut oil, whatever you prefer. Uh, we just chose to use a cold pressed canola oil today. Okay. So, Mike, while that's going, Jen, we're going to talk about the quesadillas, right? Okay. So, what we did here in the blue is we actually made our own uh, tortillas. Okay. So, at Catch the Wave, we do everything on a blue corn tortilla. So, kind of similar process. We're going to do everything today um, on a blue corn as well. So, this is homemade. I got your pan Ooh. hot. Ooh, so, yes. we just cooked these, right? They're mm -hmm. fresh, they're pliable. It's a great corn tortilla. My sister's here today, I say it all the time, We're, uh, she's celiac, I'm gluten free. Don't want to be, believe me, I want fried chicken as much as the next person, right? But for the health reasons, um, we had to go gluten free. So we want to make sure we give you the best corn tortilla possible where you don't miss flour. All right, so that is I'm our glad. goal, that is our mission. Uh, simple ingredients, masa, water, a little bit of kosher salt goes a long way. So Jen, here's this, if you want to okay. flip it. Right. Mike, how's that looking? Doing pretty good. All right, cool. Okay. So that's almost ready, we'll give it like another 15 seconds. Jen, that looks good. So what we have here is we have a Oaxaca cheese. Mm -hmm. The cheese we want is a melting cheese, right? So uh, Oaxaca, Chihuahua, even a good mozzarella. Um, about provolone if you have that. Provolone, in the white okay. cheddar. I mean, it's really kind of anything. So we already tore it. It comes in these big uh, blocks right here. Right. Kind of tore it up just to make nice little strips for us. Mike, that looks and good. Over here. Yeah, yeah so Ooh. the brisket, right? So yeah, I got gloves on, so I'll take care of it for you. But 
I want you just to shred some of that oh, in there, right? That okay. looks so good. Nice and easy. Jen, perfect. Am, am I doing this right? Yeah, 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 perfect, just like that. Jen so all Lane. this goes in and the eggs are gonna be the last thing. Eggs right? are gonna be the very last thing. So Mike, once that's hot all the way through, okay. the great thing is almost everything is already cooked, right? So perfect. And you can't have enough cheese, right? Can't have enough okay. cheese. Hey, is this on? Uh, it should be, let's, uh, let's try that again there. There, there we go. So okay. Brisket in the quesadilla. And brisket then in the quesadilla. Mm -hmm. All right. So this so, is getting hot here. Yeah. Once it's hot, we're gonna dump it right into this bowl to your left. So we can do it one of two ways. One, we can cover it. Okay. Right, and let that kind of steam together, and it'll take about 30 to 45 seconds per side. Or we can fold it in half and then cut triangles that way. Now you said once this is hot, dump it in the bowl. Dump it we in haven't the bowl. put the eggs in yet. So eggs. Eggs are going to be on top, right? Eggs are kind of going to be the showpiece. Oh, I um, thought you, you cooked them all together. No, no, no. We want it to be the showpiece. We want to see that nice egg. We covered it with mm -hmm. ours because we wanted a little bit more brisket and cheese. Jen, you think yes. you can flip that whole thing Ooh. for me? Uh, all right. So this I is this you. is hot right here. Yeah, right in the bowl. Ready? The whole thing in the bowl like that. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, Perfect. Look at that. So good. And there we go. So now, so we said that so they're pretty. divorce style, right? So that comes with red and green salsa. So we made our own red salsa. Mm -hmm. We made our own salsa verde. So just half one side is going to get green. The other half is going to get the red. Just lay it on looks there. Beautiful. Okay. What we're going to do here is let me help you out. And you've got a big event coming up. Yeah. So the weekend, uh, right? Chef Jason Dady, he does Titans at Tailgate, and uh, yeah. And he uh, invited us out this Sunday. Um, I believe there's over 40 different chefs. 20 of them are local. It's going to be a great, great event if y'all can make it out. Um, one of our new passion projects this year is moles. Mm -hmm. So um, I was telling you, this mole is 10 days old. Right now, our goal is to get it to 1,000. So kind of follow oh, wow. along with us on our journey. As we make different moles, we're going to do mole madre just to kind of keep everything going. And just a nice plate up of it. And then, Jen, what we're going to do here mm -hmm. is on the mole, just give a nice healthy squirt all the way throughout. Got it. And all of you Catch the Wave healthy products, squirt. where can people find them? Uh, so catchthewave.io on Instagram, um, on Facebook, find us. We do different farmer's markets. We do different pop-up cafes. Hopefully, we're going to have a food trailer here by the end of February. So definitely be on the lookout for us. So as those eggs are cooking, and once those are done, would I put the cheese, cheese on yes, here right sir. now? Yeah, go for it. In here. My good so that's queso <laughs> fresco right there. OK. Beautiful. A nice light cheese. We'll do okay. avocado crema right on top, okay. just a touch. Jen, we'll scrape out whatever little mm -hmm. bits are there. This right here is just a standard traditional Mexican pickle. Cauliflower, red onion, carrots, and jalapenos. Look at how beautiful all We'll that. just throw some I of that. I just love the pops of color. Ah, nice acidity. And, and the salad looks beautiful. I think we're kind of out of time now, yep. but that looks beautiful. It's another way to, to use your brisket right yeah, absolutely. and throw it on top. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, if you'd like more information uh, from Leo Davila and Catch the Wave, just go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you very much, sir. Well, as we mentioned, the Cowboy Breakfast is coming up, and that's going to be held at Cowboys Dance Hall. And as the name implies, there's a whole lot of dancing that goes on at Cowboys Dance Hall. Yep, it started in 1989 in Dallas, then moved here to San Antonio in 2003, and it's known as the premier honky-tonk dance hall in San Antonio. And guess what? They offer free, yes, free dance lessons. So it is time to kick up our heels right now. So we've got everything going on right here. This is a live Try It Tuesday, by the way. And I'm excited, I'm excited. Dan Darlington <laughs> is here and Abby, our dance professionals. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right. And today we're going to show you some two-step, Texas two-step, which is one of the competitive dances that we teach at Cowboys. But anybody can learn this from the beginning. But some people say, well, I don't have boots. I don't know how to two-step. Oh. Is it easy to do? It doesn't matter. If you think you have two left feet, we'll get rid of one and make it into a right foot. It's easy. <laughs> We always start out at the beginning. We always do a lot of beginners. It's easy. You guys got to come and try. We will show you how it works. Okay. May I? I am going to be the leader. Abby's going to be the follower. And we seem to have some music. Okay. It is quick, quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Just like that. Would you guys like to try? Okay. Sure. Okay. okay. We'll, 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 we'll switch partners here. Okay. Here we'll we follow so you. On foot, right? And five, six, ready, go. And quick, quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick. You're doing it. You're doing it. I'll be darned. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? And the nice part about it, the guy always gets to go forward, and the girl has to go backwards, right? Well, that's well. We could switch parties. You want to follow? You could follow. That's okay. good. What, now, that's a very, very easy one, and you said there's an even easier step than that. There is. We also teach triple two, and it's another country western competitive dance. It is 
slow, slow, triple step, triple step. Or walk, walk, triple, triple, walk, walk, triple, triple. Would you guys like to try it? Okay. Sure. Okay, okay, here right. we go. Think Come on, walk, here. Here walk, go. triple. And five, six, ready, go. And walk, walk, triple step, triple step. And walk, walk, step, 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 step. And walk, walk, step, 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 step. Good, you guys are doing great. That's wonderful. <laughs> and that's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. And we teach that every Wednesday and Friday at Cowboys. It's free. I teach Fridays. My, my buddy Peggy Myers teaches Wednesdays. And we're going to be teaching line dancing on Thursdays very That's soon. That's so nice that it's free. I, I'd like to see you guys do a little bit more advanced. A little bit uh, more advanced? Yeah. Oh, yeah. well, we just, also teach. Just saying. Let's say we, can we have the music? <laughs> quick, quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Now they're quick, getting fancy quick, spinning uh -huh. all that. So. Yeah. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Yeah. Quick. And good exercise, too. Very good exercise, and you don't have to lift weights. <laughs> you don't have to go to the gym. So all you gotta do is move around the floor. Great aerobic exercise, everybody. When you mentioned, okay, so this is partners, and you mentioned line dancing, though. Yeah. Because that's where everybody gets out, it looks like so much fun. Is that hard to do? Nope, that's not hard to do. We'll get you all out in line and teach you how to move this way, tap, move this way, tap, do something kind of fun, and then maybe swivel till you get to the next, and then you repeat it over on this side. Well, of course, this is the time <laughs> to learn all that because this is the season four on Western Dancing That's right. with the rodeo coming up here and head on over to uh, Cowboys Dance Hall and get free lessons on Wednesdays. Wednesdays and, and Fridays and soon Thursday. Okay, Dan, Abby, thank you very much. Appreciate thank it. You. And if you'd like more information on Cowboys Dance Hall, just go over to essaylive.com and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab. They're Take good. It away. They're good, yeah. <laughs> Still ahead on Essay Live. <laughs> Five looks you can rock at the rodeo this year. We have this styling expert here to share tips for all shapes and sizes. And next on the show, a local pet shop with a cause, how you can help give back to animals affected by the Australian wildfires. That's after the break, so stay with us.
Welcome back to SA Live. Have you been wanting a new pet but just aren't sure how to take care of it? Boy, that's an exotic looking one. <laughs> we have Randy Housley from Polly's Pet Shop here to give us some tips on caring for some less common animals like that guy right there. Good afternoon. Hi, thank you for having me. So these are a lot of the different exotics and we're going to go in order from the easiest to the most difficult to care for. Yeah, yeah. So um, we're starting here with uh, Pebbles. This is our female bearded dragon. Uh, and she's actually one of our mm -hmm. store pets. Yeah, you can hold her right there. Hey, Pebbles. Uh, yeah, so bearded dragons are great beginner reptiles uh, because they are uh, really used to uh, hard, uh, harsh climates. Mm -hmm. You know, um, they can go from really warm to a little bit cold. So they're used to the Australian outback where they're from. Okay. Um, so they like temperatures really hot during the day, about 110 degrees or so. Um, at night, they do cool off a little bit. Do you keep them in uh, like a fishbowl or a fish tank? <laughs> um, yeah, you usually keep them in a, in a terrarium. So for okay. a guy this size, um, or a girl this size, uh, about a 40-gallon terrarium. So three feet um, by 18 inches is a good size so for this I one. have one at home, and, mm -hmm. and so so the bigger they get, then they probably need a bigger tank, Oh, yeah, tank, right? yeah definitely. Okay. Yeah, you want enough okay. room for them to bask. Uh, under their heat lamps, enough room for them to get shade and cover. Do you, do you take them out? Do you play fetch with them and stuff? Or what do you do? <laughs> um, I mean, you can take them out and hold them just like okay. she's doing right now. They um, like the, the contact? They, they oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some people keep them right on their, um, on their person and stuff. Um, you can actually try to put a harness on them and people have tried to take them for walks. I've seen that. It doesn't really yeah. work too well for them, but people try. Yeah. All right, yeah. next we have one of the cutest little things that you yes. have ever seen. And what is this guy? So this is another Australian native. A um, little different here. This is Luna, a sugar glider. Luna, you're yes. so uh, And it's a female sugar glider right there. And you can uh, own this. You can actually take care yes, of it. Yes, yes, yes. This is a more exotic pet. Uh, they are marsupials, so they do have a pouch uh, located on the underside there. Mm -hmm. um, they are omnivores. They will eat some insects if you if you give it to them, but mostly they'll eat like nectars, fruits, um, a pelleted <laughs> diet and stuff. Wait, I mean, where do you keep those? What do you do? You put so, them in a cage or something? Yeah, so they need okay. a multi-level cage because they're used to being up in the trees, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're called sugar gliders because they actually have this little flap of, of skin that goes between their um, front and back uh, limbs here that they use to glide from tree to tree. Wow. Uh, so yeah, they they're good in multi-level tall habitats. But the the thing that makes them a little more challenging is that they really need to bond with you to feel comfortable. Okay. okay. Um, so they, they need you to get close. We actually have pouches that we sell that you hold them with you and carry them with you throughout the day. Yeah, you can. Um, just like this. This is an example okay. of a pouch that you would you would carry with Look, you. Like, oh, and that's so, yeah, so see, see, yeah, see how Luna's liking it's to like, go back in Dad. there. So. Next, yeah. this beautiful, beautiful bird, This and this is a cockatoo, and this is yes. one of the ones oh, that's... Oh, she's so beautiful. Yeah. Coco, right? So this is Coco, and Coco's a, a, a boy. He's a male Moluccan cockatoo. Uh, this cockatoo is native to Indonesia, so close to Australia, a little bit to the to the northeast. Um, but these guys are extremely challenging pets. They can make fantastic family members and companions, but they are a lifelong commitment. Okay. So you they live for to, oh, 50 to 70 years what? on average. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, so uh, we're running kind of kind of quick on time here, yeah. but chameleons are the ones that are that are much yeah. harder to take so, care of, right? Yeah. So they're they're reptiles similar to the bearded dragons here, but um, chameleons take a lot of different requirements as far as uh, water. They need to have running water. They can't drink okay. standing water. Uh, they take uh, high humidity. Uh, that needs to be kept all the time. So a lot more challenging than a bearded dragon, but really colorful. And you also more. have an event coming up to help out because mm -hmm. some of these are native to Australia, the Australian Yeah, wildlife. yeah, so Pebbles is actually the mm -hmm. uh, spokes lizard for our event <laughs> coming up. Uh, so starting February 8th, uh, that's a Saturday, we're gonna have our wildlife roundup event. So we're gonna be raising money for wildlife warriors uh, in Australia. That's um, basically a charity event that helps rehab animals, uh, you know, helps with conservation <laughs> efforts like, over there. Over a billion animals have been killed or displaced by the wildfires yeah. in uh, Australia. And all so, February you um, can participate. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to start. Okay. Our, our kickoff is the weekend of the eighth, and then okay. it's going to run all through February. And again, that is Saturday, February the eighth, mm -hmm. 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Polly's Pet Shop over there on Pat Booker. And for more information, go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Randy, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank all you right, still ahead on SA Live. Valentine's Day is coming up and you can make that special someone's day with these adorable cookies. And next, get rid of your clunky glasses and stop letting contacts irritate your eyes. Manrique Custom Vision will help you cut out the hassle while cutting down the price. Stay with us.
back, everyone. Well, if you wear glasses and contacts, you know they can be a burden, especially now that we are in allergy season with the mountain cedar. Oak pollen is coming up, and, you know, it just adds to the itchy, watery eyes and everything. But how would you like to get rid of the glasses, the contacts for good, and save some money while you're at it? Richard Doinoff, Operations Manager with Manrique Custom Vision, is here to tell us the benefits of Z Laser. Good afternoon, sir. How are you today? So, all those folks that, I mean, sometimes can't even put the contacts in with all the allergies and everything like that, but wouldn't have to worry about it with Z LASIK, right? Absolutely. Uh, once the Z LASIK's done, I mean, you're done with it. You get rid of your glasses and contacts. Uh, nearsightedness, farsightedness, and even astigmatism can be treated at our clinic. So just about anything that you have as far as vision problems can be treated with this. There's certain limitations, though. Absolutely. You can just call the office and we can go over that stuff with you. And sometimes even if you go over 40 mm -hmm. uh, and you go on a reading glasses, we can actually fix that also. Oh, so you don't need the cheaters all laying eight different pairs laying around the house Absolutely. in yes, little sir. places. Yeah, we all know about that. So what's, <laughs> what's the procedure that you go in? Uh, obviously an appointment to begin with to see mm -hmm. what you need, but then when you go in for the actual procedure, what's that like? A procedure is actually real quick. Um, you go in, you're only in the laser suite for about eight minutes, but the total laser time is under 30 seconds and I and you're done with it. Uh, the whole time that you're there is the prep time and Dr. Manrique is just keeping you at ease because we know everybody's nervous. The staff is keeping you at where you're not nervous, but the ma most amazing part of my job is when they get up off of the laser and we look at them and take their picture for Facebook, they can all see us across the room. I mean, and they, they, most of them couldn't even see this far in front of them before. So the results are instantaneous yep. and there's not that much recovery, right? Oh, just go home and sleep for about four hours and you're good. But there's no cutting of the eye, so it doesn't have no. to necessarily heal like that, right? Totally laser-driven, blade-free, pain-free, and in just a few seconds an eye, you're done with it. And Dr. Manrique has done literally tens of thousands of these procedures. We're, we're up actually at right about 52,000 laser procedures right now. And you have got a good deal. If you thought about getting rid of the glasses and contacts, it was good. This is even better. How much off today? Uh, $1,800 off, and the, the kicker of this is it's great is that we're actually able to offer 36 months interest free with approved credit, of course, but we've never been able to offer that before. Wow. So that, and then for the next hour, you have to call or text. You can call 210-354-2020 or text LASIK to 45384, and just for the next hour, $1,800 off the Z LASIK procedure, and then like you said, the 36 months interest free if you qualify for that. Yep. All right. Ready yeah, for, for, more, more. for more information on Manrique Custom Vision, Vision visit their website at sa.manriquei.com. Richard, thank you very much. Good to oh, see you, sir. Good to see you. All right. Still ahead on SA Live. Save even more money and look younger. How you can get rid of those unwanted lines, wrinkles, eye bags, literally in minutes. And she styles people all over the world, but her heart is right here in South Texas. Meet the woman who's Southern as a mother. That's up next on SA Live.
Welcome back to SA Live. Well, for over a decade, Christina Nicole has been styling people in Texas, New York, Chicago, and Dubai. And her new shop, Southern as a Mother, is now open in Bracken Village, and she's all about helping everyone look and feel their very best. First of all, I gotta ask, where'd you get the name of the shop? Uh, a girlfriend of mine, Sarah, came up with it, and something that we stemmed from another project that we were doing with clothes. Okay. Yeah, I love the name. Thanks. Yeah, it's so yeah, cute. It's catchy, and yeah. you're always going to remember it. So, all right, with uh, Rodeo coming up, and there's so many different events and things going on mm -hmm. in so many different fashions, and you're going to go from day to night and everything in between, right? Absolutely. I wanted to make sure that every woman could feel that she could be dressed in rodeo wear no matter what time of her life, age, or size. I love that. What are we starting with? So we have a beautiful girl by the name of Marilyn here, and she is in our wrap dress. It is plaid. It's got beautiful ruffles. She's also carrying our cowhide clutch as well. Super cute. And this is the first time she's ever worn cowboy boots. Really? Yeah. So it's kind of a fun. Look so comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> so for being the first time in cowboy boots, it's it's always kind of fun to venture out in a new thing. And that's a perfect uh, outfit that can go from just daytime activities and right into the evening too. Absolutely. If you're watching a concert, want to go to dinner, it's so easy. And a wrap dress fits almost all body types. And that's going to be perfect with a jean jacket on top. Yeah, of that too, right? absolutely. <laughs> yeah. All right. Beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. Next. Oh, Aww, we have a band here. <laughs> this is my most fun accessory to dress is a bump. <laughs> so I didn't want to leave out all our pregnant girls because. We want to go to rodeo too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so I love this dress because a lot of women, we all shop at Target. It's an attainable place to go get maternity clothes yeah. until the shop offers it in, in the spring. So then what you'll see here is a beautiful rabbit uh, fur vest with our little clutch that you can also make into a crossbody if you choose, whether you're going out to watch a concert or hang out with your girlfriends and a nice black cowboy boot. And that's a perfect example. You're taking just a simple black fresh dress, yeah. and then the nice clunky necklace, the big tribal earrings. earrings. So yeah. I like how you mix, see, I wouldn't have mixed the pattern of the earrings with that, but that's okay. Absolutely. That's, that's what you do. You help to style and maybe things you didn't think of yeah. to put together for Put people, people out of their comfort uh -huh. zone and I know that, that you can take the turquoise from the bead and pull it through the rock. It looks perfect. Yeah. You look beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. And here next is the classic cowboy outfit. Or absolutely. Cowboy outfit, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Jen here looks great. She shows how we can take a jean and dress it up with some fringe. We all have a paisley top that we like to wear and show off as well. And then we put it inside of our jeans with a cute, really beaded belt. I love the bling. Yes. <laughs> Which everything else is so kind of uh, the subdued colors, but then you have that little pop with Absolutely. the belt on there. And you said that was a, a classic example of the jeans that were in her closet, and then you added them with the other That's correct. accessories. Yes. Right? So I want to show that you can take items that you already own, and I can help you build on those whether you have a budget or you do not. And then another fun item that we have here is these are handmade patina with little green Super feathers. Cute. Have a little organic feel to it. There's so many options for rodeo, right? Yeah. I love that. Yeah. All right, Beautiful. going way over the top with all the, uh, the glam and some of the very formal rodeo events. Yes. And our next model. <laughs> we know you. <laughs> Somebody who's very familiar. Yeah, just a little. <laughs> We have so Bonnie here. Look. She looks mm. breathtaking. Yes. So we put her in a bandage dress. Uh, thank you to Diamonds Direct, and they gave us all these beautiful gems to put with her mm -hmm. so that we can wear the rodeo ball. And we also have your earrings as well. Mm -hmm. Beautiful yes. sapphire. Gorgeous. Yes. And his, they his match my the shoe. <laughs> Valentine's Day is coming up. Yeah. <laughs> they, are, they are going back, by the way, <laughs> just to let you know. But they, they're, again, a classic dress. You've got the fringe on there to yep. add to the rodeo and then spice it up with the color and uh, yes. the Love those the bling. shoes. Yes. So don't be afraid to add that pop. Absolutely right? not. No. I think everything here is so beautiful and timeless because you've got black, but then you have fun for the rodeo. And then having pop of jewelry, pop of color, absolutely Fantastic. And any color shoes could go with yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's so fun. Yep. So um, this is what you do. This is what yes. you do for a living. If someone has questions, they go to you, and your shop is so cute. I got to go Thanks. check it out. <laughs> Adorable. So let's talk about a little bit of what you do. OK, absolutely. Um, over a decade, I've been dressing women at any age, size, budget, shape. So we sell clothes from extra small all the way up to 3x and maternity as well. And I take what you have within your closet and we build on it, as you see with some of the items that we have here on the ladies. Mm 
Mm -hmm. I can also do closet clean out where we go through that and I can tell you what doesn't work, what mm -hmm. does, and things of that nature. And you sell some soaps and some locally made items as well. Absolutely. All cute. Yes. Super cute. And, and if somebody's going to a certain event, they can call you and go, okay, I need this, and you know where to go. Well, let's yes. try this, and you can pluck from different stores. Absolutely. And then have them try those things on. Yes. She's a girl to know. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Well, if you'd like more information, and ladies, thank you much. You're very beautiful. I'll see you at home later on. By anyway, <laughs> more on Southern as a mother, head over to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, still ahead on SA Live. Lose those wrinkles in no time. How this product can help you look and feel your best. And next on the show, Sweet Treats Plus guest, Baby Yoda. He's back. And we can tell you where to find all these goodies. Go to one for me. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, if you are looking for the cutest way to say, I love you, or Yoda One, this Valentine's Day, the bread box can definitely help out. Yes, we have Kayla Nielsen, pastry chef over at the bread box and creator of this beautiful little Yoda. Get baby right Yoda. to it. Look how the cute. most popular little. I can't, cute. I can't eat you. You're so cute. <laughs> so do I'm just going to save him. Probably more popular than. What's the relationship between Yoda and Baby Yoda? Is it father son or is it. Uh, we don't know anyway. anything really about him yet. Ah, yeah. okay. But we do know how to make them. You yes, said you. starting off, you hand cut we all did. of these Gosh. for a while. Mm -hmm. wow. We were hand cutting about a couple hundred until um, we had a friend make a cutter for us, which saved our lives. Wow. wow. And if yeah. somebody wants to order some of these, they can. Right? Yes, get yeah, this right. a call. They've been selling, right? Yeah, they've been selling like crazy. <laughs> well, we need to uh, finish it off. So yes. what we'll are we help you doing today. first? Okay, so go ahead and put that pink in his little ears. Okay. Give it a nice little squeeze. And I'll do the eyes. Yeah, right? you can fill in his eyes. You said 80% is important. 
to feel. I just keep squeezing. Okay. Yeah, yeah you tell me when. That guy real good. Mm -hmm. You can use a skewer to kind of spread it out a little bit. Okay. Is that good right there? Yeah, it looks great. So okay. all of these cookies are hand decorated? Yes, they are hand decorated. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. And we have tons of, I'm sorry, we have okay. tons of different um, little Valentine's Day puns going around. So. What are some of your favorites? Um, I like the Leia one on me. It's around here somewhere. Oh, Leia that's, one uh, on me. It might be up front right here, I think. Oh, this, this. Yeah, we have the. Oh, yeah, yeah you got too? one over yeah. there too. Uh huh. I don't know if you Leia get a, one a shot on of that. What's your Princess favorite? Leia. What's your favorite, Mike? Uh, can't say. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> they actually brought some cookies here that, um, yeah, we had. <laughs> they're special cookies. We but can't show them on TV, but they're super cute. <laughs> but it was extremely adorable. And most of these cookies you said are shortbread, right? Yes, they are shortbread cookies. So they're nice and buttery, and then they have a royal icing on top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How long does it take you to do one of these? I, know. I know you're a pro at it. But... <laughs> it really just depends on the cookie. But okay. would you say this is therapeutic too? Because I like. Yeah, I like doing it's it. Making me happy right now. <laughs> I know if it's just because he's so cute. Look so at that nose. If somebody's <laughs> wanting to order Valentine's cookies, and if you can come up with your own cute little phrase mm -hmm. for your Valentine, you can customize everything over there, right? Yeah, of course. Give us a call. Shoot us a message on our Instagram, and we can go ahead and customize any sort of cookie that you would like. I know Valentine's is still. A little ways away. away. But uh, when should you, when's the last time to really order? Um, honestly, up until a couple days before, maybe four days before would be an awesome amount of time to get all these cookies going. Um, but obviously the earlier the better, so that way we can prepare. If we need to get any special cutters, we can we can do that. And you have just so many things going on, because you have brunch, you have you have lunch, you have mm -hmm. sweets, you do yeah, we have bread, charcuterie, delicious I mean, fresh you bread. So many things there. Um, you can see on screen there, because there's muffins and pies. I, some of those pies, by the way, mm -hmm. look amazing. They all do. But, uh, so just endless, endless yeah, things. Yeah, anything, pretty much anything. And if you have a special request, give us a call. Even if you've never been there, you have more than likely had bread from oh, Breadbox yeah. because yes. how many different restaurants are oh, in Oh gosh, I don't know the number, but tons. We are all over San Antonio. They supply all the breads and muffins and rolls and all that good stuff for mm -hmm. so many restaurants around here, and you also have brunch and lunch at your place, yes, right? Yes, we do brunch, breakfast, lunch. We're open seven days a week. So come on by the alley. What are some of the customer favorites for brunch? For br I think we have this amazing bread pudding, French toast oh. bread pudding. It's delicious. Oh, 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 I Goodness love it. gracious. And yeah. you also, you mentioned charcuterie, too, because that's yes. one of my favorites. Yes, uh -huh. <laughs> Tina, our, our, our owner, makes amazing, beautiful charcu charcuterie. See? I'm terrible at saying that word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Boards. A good meat and cheese platter. It took yes, a while meat and cheese platter. That word. <laughs> Mine sure doesn't look as good as yours. No, it looks great. I think you guys are doing great oh, for your first time. So we've got the shortbread cookies, and I've been dying for this one. So he's gonna yeah. give that. This a is try. the sugar cookie. You need cookie. to take a bite. Yes, it's almost like those um, sugar cookies you get at the grocery store, but like a hundred times better. You got it. How's that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how do we do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did amazing. <laughs> they look beautiful. You want to give them a little blush on yeah, his cheeks? Yeah, let's do the you blush. You can just dip it in there. And then uh, just for more information, you can go to salive.com. But again, all these goodies. I love the pizza. I mm -hmm. do love the Yoda one for me. <laughs> That's my favorite. And, and you're over there in? Um, At the alley, right off the of alley. the 281 in Bitters. Go up 281, mm -hmm. hang on left, go west on Bitters, and it's right up there. So hey, Kayla, thank you very much. Of course, Appreciate thank that. you. All right, and again, like Jen said, if you want more information, go to salive.com and click on the ad scene on SA Live tab. Next on the show, eliminate those wrinkles in no time. We'll show you the befores and afters so you can see for yourself just how this product works. Stay with us.
It is the time of year when everyone is making resolutions, healthy changes, trying to look and feel their best, you know, going to the gym, losing weight can help, but you won't see instant results. Today we have a quick and easy way for you to look and feel Oh, so much better and look younger in 2020. And lifestyle expert and our good friend, Scott DeFalco, is here to tell us about the product used by celebrities mm -hmm. and... I can't name people. them, Mike. I can't name them. That's for another uh, segment, <laughs> but uh, they are using it. Trust me. And Plexiderm has taken social media in the country by storm, especially our new rapid reduction serum. Mm -hmm. So let's see it in action because I brought a time lapse. You know the model. She's our famous Georgine. model. Georgine. Sweet Georgine, Mike. Yep. And there she is on your screen. We sped this up to 20 seconds. In real time, it was a minute and a half, but we put Plexiderm's new rapid reduction serum on her problem areas around the eyes with the crow's feet, around the mouth with the laugh lines, Mike. And you'll be able to see here in just a second how incredible the before and after is with her because she came in and she was really upset about these issues and there they are there are her results. Wow. Are these typical results that most people see like this? Yes, in just minutes. And I'm telling you, as amazing as it is on your screen, to be there and witness it in person like I was is absolutely mind-blowing, Mike. It really, really is. Okay, you have some before and after pictures. Mm -hmm. Speaking yep. of and people, men, women, all different ages. So take yep. a look at some of these. Absolutely. Depending on lifestyle choices, genetics, it can affect anyone at any age. And it's all those key signs of aging, Mike, like you're seeing on your screen. The forehead lines, the crow's feet, the under eye bags, the, the left line. line. Yeah. Yes, like you saw with Sweet Georgine. And there it is right there, the underappreciated a part of your body that with aging is an issue, loose skin under your neck. Okay, now those are what the ordinary or before and after pictures yep. look like of just, you know, regular folks and everything, mm -hmm. but also the pros like to use this yes, too. Yes, we have a makeup artist who uses it on those big celebrities you mentioned at the top. Okay, here's what she has to say. Hi guys, my name is Sandy Marinese. I'm a professional hair and makeup artist. And one of the number one question that I always get in my chair is, can you make me look younger? So we had a few people that we applied it to and some of them at first I was like, oh, I don't know if this is gonna work. And I was so impressed how fast, efficient, and how well it really worked. Now I could really say to people, yes, I can make you look younger. Wow, and she's a professional makeup artist. Well, that raises the question, though. I mean, if you if you put this on and then you put makeup on top of it, right? It's a real simple process. Probably the number one question I get from the ladies, Mike, because most mm -hmm. men besides us don't wear makeup, <laughs> and women that try to cover up these problem areas with makeup, the more they put on, the more it can enhance it. So it's real easy. Put Plexiderm on a clean, dry face. Let it sit for ten minutes. Then your makeup is normal. It's that simple, Mike. Two greatest things about this product: not just how quickly it works, like you saw with the time lapse, how long the results are lasting with our new serum, our prior cream plus six to eight hours. This new serum up to 10 hours now, Mike, with the results. So just put it on in the morning. That's it. Or right before you go out at night. Okay. Yeah, it's going to get you through a whole work day or a special event at night. Wow. And the, re the reason why it's so effective is because of our new ingredients. We've added peptides and collagen to the formula, Mike. So we're adding moisture and elasticity. We're binding that water to your skin to give you a nice, youthful, glowing look like you saw with the before and afters. But inducing the collagen production for the elasticity is huge. That's why it's lasting longer up to 10 hours. Well, you've seen the pictures. You've heard the testimonials. And Plexiderm is offering a special discount to people who order Plexiderm right now. 50% off and free shipping. All you have to do is call 1-800-693-9286 or visit their website, Plexiderm.com. As always, thank you, Scott. Thank you, Mike, for having me. Hey, it's Ron SA Live Winter Skin Care 101. We'll share how you can keep the summer glow no matter what time of year it is. Plus, good food and a place for family and friends to come together. We are live at Mi Familia tomorrow. That and much more at 1. Who that looks good on SA Live.
Oh, that was a fun show yes, today. It was. Kind so of much our, fun. Our first kind of rodeo sort yes, of show. Yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Yes. And don't forget, on February 1st, 11 o'clock in the morning is the cattle drive, and we are all going to be down there. Mm -hmm. The Longhorns walking through the streets of San Antonio. It's, it's going to be broadcast right here on KSAT 12 beginning at. 11 o'clock. Yes, we have the Vaquero Cook-Off over at La Vita area. We also have uh, an insider event. So if you're a KSAT insider, if you don't know what that is, go to KSAT.com to find out because we have a nice little area set up for them and might get to meet some uh, some faces of KSAT. Yes, and don't forget to register for the Vaquero Cook-Off if you want oh, to, uh, you know, yeah. make it a good news, something like that. Bye. Bye. <laughs> We're out of time. <laughs> <laughs>Jenna Mike coming up on the next Essay Live. Slow Cooker Month and Beef Love in Texas is going to be here with a great slow cooker chili. Mm, and guess what? A stingray will be here on set. Yeah, really? a stingray here wow. at Market Square. a real live stingray on the next essay live let's count yeah wait wait oh where you go let's kill this join essay live downtown as we settle up to kick off the san antonio stock show and rodeo Yep. Yes, ma'am. Okay. okay. Uh, which line do you want? You want the first one? Um, sure. Join SA Live downtown as we saddle up to kick off the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. The Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive, Saturday, February 1st at 11 a.m. So let the voice of God say right here in case at 12. Join SA Live downtown as we saddle up to kick off the San Antonio Stock Show and Okay. 
in three, two. Join SA Live downtown as we saddle up to kick off the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. The Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive, February 1st at 11 a.m. Is that okay or did I pause too much? I didn't say Saturday, February 1st. Let me do that again. Sorry. Three, two, wait, you ready? Yep. Three, two. Join SA Live downtown as we saddle up to kick off the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. The Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive, Saturday, February 1st at 11 a.m. Sorry, Mom. Yay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be second. Mike's first. You ready? It is time. I say leave it. Yeah. Do we want, uh... Sorry, excuse me, let's just do it. If you slipped, if you slipped a little on your 2020 resolution, there's a beauty shortcut you can take. Cuts from it's in minutes to reduce <clears throat> some of the key signs. What side do you want? You may say. You, and it can make what side do you like? This side from here, that's right. Back? No, no. <laughs> Hmm. Where are you from? Albuquerque. Oh. Yes, I got him yesterday. Okay. I saw some friends for dinner, so I told my husband it's like a vacation when I come out and do these, you know. No, I'm hard at work. We were just in uh, Rio Doso over. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah. 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 Right over Christmas, so it didn't it didn't snow, but there was some snow. Okay. It was, there, I mean, they had a lot of uh, a lot of base on uh, ski patching. Okay. So. Did you guys ski? Yeah, we yeah. skied one day. We just drove from here. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> my real true opinion. Um, we Hi guys, my name is Sandy Murray. They flew into uh, Roswell. Okay. So. okay. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we got that done last week. Oh really? It, you know, it's nice. I like it for about a day or two, and then I'm like, all right, get back to the woman. Like this feels good. This uh, feels great. This. I grew up. You know, Minnesota, right? And I was born in Alaska. Live, oh, really? Oh. <laughs> yeah, but I'm warm weather person, so. <laughs> Between here and Memphis, I lived down south for 30-some-odd okay. okay. years. Yes. So, uh, okay, okay. You take years off your appearance, and in a matter of minutes, um, and no surgery, and so easy you can do it at home, and today you get it for half off. We were talking about Plexiderm, lifestyle expert Casey Messer. Correct. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Is here to tell us all about it. Okay, it always okay. sounds too good to be true. It does, Richie, our boy Richie Bags, right? Oh, we have Richie Bags. Richie back. Bags okay. is back. But this, uh, this sounds too good. Okay, so here's Richie, and boy, I mean, we all have uh, some bags, but Richie's got some bags. Richie and this has works some on something bags. like that. Yeah, so here's the thing. You know, you, as you can see from Richie doing this, we put a little bit right. just under his eye. And you, here's the thing, you gotta be still for just 10 minutes. It's really hard to do. If you ever try to get on your phone to be still for 10 minutes, it's really difficult. Yeah. So just do a little dab. And it's, you know, here's the, the key. W ladies know about this. When it's a small little bottle, you just use a tiny yeah. little bit of mouth, like that, like yeah. that, like half a pea, you know, pea so size. So we'll yeah. do Richie, and then we'll do some okay. before and afters. Okay. And then we check in on Richie again. Okay. Refer to the time lapse at the halfway point. And now let's hear from a woman All that right. uses it. Okay. She's just a normal person. Okay. Mm -hmm. Makeup artist Sandy. Perfect. And reacts to the testimonials. And one last check with Richie. Okay. And then we will. I'll do the full screen. Perfect. Okay. Plexiderm.com half <clears> off, and you guys do a do a phone number two. Okay. Yes. Perfect. And it's about what three-ish minutes? Three and, and a half. Three? Three? Okay. Three yeah. Minutes, so. Okay. I did a show back home, Good Day New Mexico. Oh, okay. Um, and we were a half-hour show, and our segment length always three to four minutes. And that's how I met Scott. Was he came oh, through okay. with Plexiderm and Power Swap? So yeah, yeah. Okay, I was just trying to figure out who you remind me of. Okay. Um, Is it go. I know. Yeah. I'm gonna wait till you guys. If you guys say it. Um, Oh, no, no, not, oh, no, not Lori Laughlin is not, who you're thinking. Not Lori, no, okay, not Lori Laughlin. I can't think of her name. From, is it Maria Shriver? No, that's the other one I got just no, last from, week from the Americans. Um, oh, 
Carrie Russell? Carrie Russell. Oh, really? That's okay, okay. no, I never got yes. that one. Oh, well, thanks, because I used to love watching her on Felicity. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's kind of got a... Hi, now that we've had yeah, our Doppelganger 101. <laughs> you ready? Okay. In three, two. Well, it can take years off your appearance in just a matter of minutes. No surgery, so easy. You can do it right at...